Today we're going to talk about safety as a solo female van lifer. If you've not been here before, my name is Sarah and I have at the moment a not converted van. It is insulated. I actually, if I just spin this camera around, I do have, I'm actually parked on my drive at home. I do have another van there. There is a converted van, but it doesn't run. It needs a new engine. I'm getting rid of that van anyway, and I've got this van. And I have been doing van life part-time for about four years now, maybe a little bit more. I've also done lots of car camping as well. I have quite a few car camping uh, videos on my channel. If car camping maybe is interesting to you. I got into car camping when that van broke. I didn't have this van, and so I was like, how am I going to get out and about? I just went out in the car, and lots of people in my real life were like whoa were you not scared you know how do you do this do you not feel nervous with your park ups and things like that and i just wanted to discuss the things that i do not for car camping really although some of these tips will go for car camping but for when you are a solo female just in your van i generally do just park up you know on the road on streets i do do a bit of going to campsites and things but generally this is for when you are on the road and you're just finding park ups you know wherever i think the first and most important thing to say is to trust your gut if you find a park up or for any moment you don't feel safe you feel a little bit nervous move on find somewhere different your gut is important and it's telling you if it's something that's telling you this feels wrong move on sometimes i have found a spot to park up and I felt a little bit dodgy about it but then once I said I've kind of walked around the area and I thought no actually this is all right I feel okay with it but yeah most importantly trust your instinct first thing hide your valuables don't have anything in your cab that is of any value whatsoever um, anything on show you don't want to draw anyone's attention to your van at all that there's something in the front that they maybe want that maybe they want to break into for so just yeah don't have anything in the front if you can help it i would have if you don't travel with a dog and lots of people do travel with their dog and that's a wonderful thing if you've got a dog with you they will hear noises around they will bark and it will put people off coming to you towards your van if you don't have a dog carry anything with you that will make you feel safer so maybe like an alarm if you hear something you can you know you can set off an alarm some people have like a pepper spray you know something like that something that you can if someone does come to your van and i have to say this is so so rare it's never happened to me i've obviously i've heard of people who it has happened to but it really doesn't happen very often and so don't stress about it too much it's not a common thing that someone does approach your van whilst you're inside in all honesty but do have something if you want to have some sort of an alarm or you know some pepper spray something like that yeah have that with you and have it handy for when you're asleep like wherever you sleep have it in the same place it's easy accessible to you that you can just grab it if you need to on that same note your keys have your keys somewhere have a place where you put your keys every single night before you go to sleep have a place where you put them that they are right next to you that if you need to just grab them you can grab them and on that have access to the cab if you are somewhere and you start to feel a bit nervous in the middle of the night or you know late at night or whatever you don't want to have to be searching around for your keys you also don't want to have to be exiting your van to get to the front i would definitely always recommend your build of your van make sure that you can just hop in the front grab your keys hop in the front drive away when you find a spot where you're going to park park either reverse into it or that make sure that you're parked with the easy access you don't want to have to be like reversing and faffing around trying to get out make sure that you can just like say grab your keys hop in the front drive straight off if you do start to feel nervous when i am on my own sometimes I'm on my own sometimes i'm meeting people some friends and things but generally always let someone know where you are if you are someone who just like goes away for the weekends or whatever let someone know your location where you expect it to be when you expect to be back in the past i have just like gone on like whatsapp and just shared my location with someone who is back at home or with another friend or whoever so that they know where i am always make sure that your 
phone is charged you've got enough charge on your phone and also you've got signal if i go to i am quite spontaneous with where i go i don't plan very much if i'm honest but if i sort of find somewhere and think well this is a good park up but when i get there if i'm on my own and there's no phone signal it's just a no-go for me i'm not going to stay where there is no phone signal i'm gonna just have to go even if it's just this beautiful spot I'm not going to say where there's no phone signal when I'm on my own. So a, a charged phone or a, re a way to charge your phone and phone signal, I think, is really important. If you have got a small van like me, this is just a little short wheelbase Vauxhall Vivaro. And, you know, as you can see, it isn't converted at the moment. And even when it is converted, uh, I will not have, there's not the space to have like a fixed toilet. But I would recommend always having something that you where you can go to the toilet, you know, just like a little shiwi or something, so that if in the middle of the night, wherever you are, you wake up and you need the toilet, you don't want to have to be going outside in the middle of the night to, you know, go to the to the loo um, in a bush or whatever. It's much safer and better if you've got something in your van where you can just not have to go outside in the middle of the night in a strange place like that's don't do that we somewhere in your van have a little shoe we just have a little pot like in the past i literally have used like a just a, a pot it, it doesn't matter and then i just put it down at the edge and then in the morning i'll sort it out you don't want to have to be leaving your van in the night i think it's important for anyone really to be able to have a, a little bit of basic maintenance bit of knowledge and maintenance of the vehicle and what to do in a problem so for example learn how to change a tire on your van if needs be have some jump leads in your van so that if you are in a remote location and something happens you can sort of solve it a little bit for yourself it's really empowering and good to know that you have got that little bit of knowledge to be able to get yourself out of any little sticky situations that you get in in regards to something going wrong with the van you definitely have like a little emergency kit in your van basic first aid stuff some tools make sure that you have enough water to be able to see you through if you're going somewhere remote make sure you've got enough water to see you through make sure that you have enough food and snacks and things that will see you through if something goes wrong and also have just like a little portable um battery pack at least just to charge your phone if something goes wrong with your van like my van isn't converted at the moment and so i just have like, in when my van is converted i will obviously have i'll have solar panel and i'll have a whole battery system and everything in my van but um at the moment i am just using a bluetti which is fantastic i've had a lot of people asking me about this actually and it's brilliant i do have a solar panel that attaches to it as well so i can um stick it up although in england at the moment it don't really do much it's pretty miserable um but this is fantastic and it charges like i use my laptop a lot and so it, it's not wonderful for using the laptop it doesn't really give me enough juice for that but for things like just charging my phone up it's brilliant obviously you don't need to have something like this if you've got a converted van and you've got a solar panel and you've got you know the leisure battery and all of that but just you know just a small i don't know where mine is it's not knocking around but i'll put it on screen just a little charger but that you can charge your phone up if something does happen to the van and you can't charge through your van for whatever reason at least you've got something where you can charge up your phone and get you out of that situation so they are my safety tips for anyone who is doing van life solo again it goes back to the start of just really just trusting your gut instinct on whether you think a place feels safe or not to stay for the night and i think a big thing for me when i talk to people and they they sort of say to me oh i don't know how you do it and all of that like I think bad things can happen anywhere you know people's houses at the moment i'm like parked on my drive at home and someone could break into my house things happen and i think it's to not get too stressed about it and to not think not overthink it we just take the necessary precautions like i've just mentioned all those different things take those precautions and at some point you do just kind of have to stop worrying about it and just go for it is what i think anyway i've had a few people who have messaged me and who have got vans um solo females who have vans and things but they feel too nervous and too scared to 
you can go out in them and to to do sort of like stealth um self camping and just find park ups and that makes me really sad that people have sort of gone that step to get the van and they want to do it but then they won't then they don't then go and do it everything you kind of do for the first time or the, you know the, the a few times it feels i remember the first time i went car camping and i was so nervous about car camping and i almost came home at about 10 o'clock at night i was like i don't want to do this and I almost came home and was like, no, just, I felt safe. It was just, I was just something about it. It was the first time I did it and I felt nervous about doing it. And the more you do it, the more, as long as you put those safety precautions into place and everything, the more you do it, the more it just feels natural and normal. I think that the big thing is that most people, when you talk to people in your life, maybe who don't do van life or van you know camping or whatever they don't really get it and they they have it to me put like seeds of doubt in my head of like should i should i be scared what like this doesn't make sense like they they think i should be scared why aren't i nervous why aren't i scared about it and that really like sometimes if i think about it too much it really gets into my head to start to think about am i odd to be doing this and this is unsafe it is not generally it's fine generally I've, the park ups i've had most people don't even know what you're doing most people don't care it shouldn't be something the sort of the safety aspect of it shouldn't be something that puts you off from doing it if it's something that you really want to do so there you go they are my safety tips for solo female van lifers coming up on this channel i am going to be finishing converting this van so if you want to see that make sure you go ahead and subscribe and i will see you in the next one Bye.